Good morning guys, welcome back to Charlie and me, our camping vlog, the van build. This is project two, the Overlander, which is parked here behind me. So we've, this is actually build one because you've seen the introduction where we did the drone footage, introduced you to the second vehicle, which is now known as project two, the Overlander. Um, I've since had the chunky tires fitted. Uh, I didn't want to do a video of that because you saw the video on the first Jeep having the chunky tires fitted. So a lot of this build is aesthetics. Yes, we've got to build a kitchen inside. We're getting a tent, but the Jeep has to look well. Hence the all-terrain tires, the off-road all-terrain tires. The only thing I'm having a problem with getting for the Range Rover Sport is a snorkel. The snorkel goes from the front up the driver's pillar and it allows you to go underwater or at least into deep water. Um, I may have to try and get one made, but I'm having major problems sorting one. If you know where I can get a snorkel for a Range Rover Discovery, sorry, a Range Rover Sport, a 06 model, please email vanbuild at charlieandme.ie. If you're a fabricator and you think you can make one for me, please email vanbuild at charlieandme.ie. Right, here's the plans. I've got to get into the stores. So we'll get the gate up. I've got to get the B-Bow out to get the Overlander in so i'm gonna park the b-ball over there get the overlander in do the work that we have to do today which is basically fitting the roof rails the tent and the solar is obviously going on the roof of this and the tent is mounted on a roof rack i got the final last ever to be had set of roof rails and crossbars for this 06 range rover sport from the uk i got them via a company in northern ireland who sourced them from the uk so we'll get the b-ball out of here, we'll get the Jeep in, and then we'll have a chat. So let's run the brand new van build Project 2 Overlander titles, and I'll talk to you in a couple of seconds. So here we are, welcome back to the van build. Project two, the Overlander, with thanks to our friends at Gary's Glue. Gary's Glue.ie are sponsoring all of the videos again in this van build. Remember, they've got a high tack adhesive. They've got a whole selection of glues that you can use for art in around the home. But this one is done by the high tech adhesive, which is the glue we will be using on any of the woodwork or anywhere we need to glue, stick, seal, we'll be using the Gary's Glue high-tech adhesive. More about that as the build goes on, or of course you can click on the link above and go back to series three, where we did the van build number one, which was the B-Ball. So the plan here is to turn this 06 Range Rover Sport HSE into an overlander. That means a roof tent, the chunky wheels, I'm planning on a, a roof line of spotlights. I'm planning on spotlights on the front as well. The ones on the roof will probably be switched from inside, I don't know yet. The ones on the bumper will more than likely be on your full headlights. We're planning outside lighting on the back and on the sides, you know, LED lighting to light up the area where you are because overlanders are supposed to be for the majority wild camping. This thing may never see wild camping, but that's not the point. It will be sold as soon as it's finished and we use it for one or two Charlie and me videos just to try it out as well. So, things we gotta do. Number one is to install the roof rails, which go down each side, drivers and passenger side, and then across that you get roof bars. I couldn't get roof rails or a roof rack. I was actually buying one from a company called Front Runner, which was over 2,000 euro. And it's a real off-road thing. And then I spoke to Buckled Wheel, buckledwheel.ie. They're supplying us with the roof tent and some other auxiliaries that are accessories that we're going to be needing. And he was saying, just get the standard roof rails. You just need a roof rack. Why pay two grand on a roof rack that's going to be two thirds covered by a tent? So we went on the prowl and we got hold of a company called TCK in Northern Ireland. They do all off-road accessories for Land Rovers, Range Rovers, 
and he got me, as he said, the last set of available roof rails and bars for a 06 Range Rover Sport. I don't think anybody has turned a Range Rover Sport into an Overlander. They're normally Defenders, which are stupid priced at the moment, or else you go with the Disco. I had a Disco, you would have seen from when I explained how we came across this, we did a swap, but we now have a Range Rover Sport. So today, we're filling the roof rack. It's still in a sealed box, so you are seeing it for the first time with me. Fingers crossed it's the right one. Let's get to unboxing. Okay, so we seem to have leather rails that run down the side. We'll just place them over here. As I say, I have not, I, I honestly thought they were going to be longer. I, were hope, I was hoping they were going to be full, full length rails. Very important. I'm not one for not reading instructions. A lot of cardboard. Fitting screws. And then there's another box. So let's see what's in here. Oh, beautiful. They are two keys and they are the crossbars and wow, for when you take the crossbars off, when you're not using them, you can store them. Do you know what? I'd expect the likes of that from Range Rover. Little accessories like that. Brilliant. Okay. Now let's go and see how we get to uh, fit them on the side of the Jeep. So I mentioned that we got to, actually when I unboxed the rest of the, uh, the package, we get two sets of keys, a dainty little Allen key, which I'm assuming we're going to use. And as I said, we get the instructions. I've briefly looked through the instructions um, and it looks like the roof rails are going to be as long as I thought. I was hoping to get another bar across here, a spurious bar to fit the four big spotlights onto. So it tells you the usual instructions, we're not gonna go through them, but it tells you what tools you need, wash down the roof. Do you know what? We have to do it between 25 and 18 degrees. It's flipping only eight degrees today. I don't think that really matters. Um, oh, I'm looking forward to doing this. Right, let's just wash down. Actually, I'm only at the having the Jeep washed, so I'll just give it a rub of a dry cloth and uh, get the step ladder, take a look at it, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, let me show you what the crack is up here on the roof. I'm hoping that this will focus. This is where the roof rails are going to go. Now, some Jeeps, some Land Rovers, be they Discoveries or Discos, just have a long piece of this plastic that runs the whole way down. This one has the bore holes already. Now, in the instructions, it says that you may have to go down here, prise this out, pull it out all the way. Then there is threaded holes there. You've got to mark them, put this back in, drill holes. But this one, thankfully, I just have to pop three poppers out and that's where the bolts go. And then the roof rack will sit onto that. Right, the plan here is there are three of these that need to be popped out to stay so what I'm gonna do is I wonder how they do when you get them propped up they actually screw out of the 19 mil hole that's there so I will come back along and dry this again make sure we get it right right two more to do
Okay, so I've figured out which rail is going on which. We're on the passenger side at the moment. There are lots of grooves to allow you to adjust the roof rack. So they go on the outside. So that's what we're doing here. I have to peel off some sticky tape on both ends to firmly push down as I have them screwed in and to give you surface wipes. So even though I've dried it off, I'm going to just clean the black area where the screws are going. They also come with a rubber edge, obviously to make the suction that little bit cleaner. So I'm gonna clean it off with the cleaning pads that they give you. And then I had to get, um, they're not Allen keys. I told you there was an Allen key, but the Allen key is actually for a totally different job. The nuts that are on these are those, I can't use the word that my father, God be good to him, used to use, but they're not Allen keys, are they hex nuts? So I do happen to have a hex nut tool set that Anthony, the mechanic out here in the yard, ordered for me back on the b-ball because there was a lot of um, those nuts in the b-ball and I didn't have a set. Okay. I'm not gonna show you every single bit of this because that would be just boring and I am only gonna show you one side. So let's just peel off the two little bits of stickiness that are on the end, which is very hard to do when you're wearing gloves but we'll manage, okay. Then it says carefully line up the screw holes before you put any pressure on it. Do you know what? There's nothing in it. Okay, let me see if I move this over here. Although, you know what? You've seen screw holes being, actually we'll start with the middle one. I always tend to start with a middle one. Okay, I actually have a screwdriver head for this. I should get, but uh, right. Let me do the other two, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so um, there were little things I didn't find out until I read through the instructions again. There are little washers, um, little spacers, and washers that need to go under each hole to kind of lift space the roof up but do you know what let me just step down here turn the camera and show you what it looks like on the passenger side i have to put a little bit of weight here because that's where that piece of sticky tape came off so i've got to just put a bit of weight there but all in all side one looks well Now I'm just gotta do the other side and see how that looks. Okay, so stage one was the two roof rails. They stay in the book to get a hand to put on the roof racks that go across the roof bars. Anthony the mechanic, I could ask him, but he's very busy. I might see if there's anybody there in the shed with him, but let's take a look at stage one. Stage one, roof rails fitted. Um, gotta be honest, a one man job, easily done read the instructions but i think they look well now to get the bars on okay so the roof bars which uh, i have here are a totally different kettle of fish seemingly you get two sets of keys we've got to open them we've got to slide this off do you know what i'm going to do just to be sure look a man reading instructions quick pause this call in the wife and show them that we do read instructions so it says on the instructions to open this with a key, slide off this piece, which will reveal a little small Allen key, and that's used to slide this to and fro, depending on what width you need. Yeah, so it says then to use the Allen key just to loosen this off to allow you to maneuver them. I'm gonna see if it'll fit first without loosening off. And then it just says slide into place. So let's take a look. Okay, I've put one of the rails up and they actually do need to be uh, lengthened. So that's what we're gonna do now. Seemingly, yeah, they do need to be lengthened. So let's move the camera up onto the roof, get that little Allen key and do a little bit of lengthening. Now on the roof rack, 
you have to place the bars in the middle and then slide them down to the desired nook that you want to. But first of all, let's get the right length by using this Allen key. Okay, I'll tell you the problem I'm having here. You need to tilt these to get them in under a lip that's here. And with one in already, you can't really tilt this one. And I don't want to take the Allen key out because I notice the little bolt will drop down and I'll never get it back in. So you're just gonna to have to give me a couple of minutes till I figure this out. According to the diagram, they slip in no problem, but uh, I'm having problems getting it over this little lip. There's a little lip there. This is where you set them in, because there's a split. Leave it with me and I'll be back in a second. Charlie and me are camping vlog, the Camping Crew Cobb podcast, but here I try to be honest with you guys. I messed up. Let me show you how I messed up. And I messed up big time. Not costly big time, but big time as in an hour. Let me show you what I did. Now I said to you at the offset, I have watched videos of people fitting these rails. Some of them, you have to take these out and drill them to match the holes. I'm lucky that I just had to take out the bungs to match the holes. But I also said to you, make sure you put these little grooves on the outside and these big grooves on the inside because that's how it looked on the drones. I then slotted in the crossbar. I couldn't get the other side of the crossbar in. Anthony, in fairness, the mechanic that shares the yard with me came out. He even shed blood trying to get them in. And then he realized, hey, Aaron, your racks are on wrong. So if you're fitting these on a Discovery or on a, a Defender or on a Sport, make sure the inside grooves are the small ones. I had them on the outside. There's one big outside one. I'm gonna see if I can focus on it. Just here, focus, flip you. This is where you slide in the first rack and then you slide them up and down to these notches. I had it the other way around and that has cost me one hour in time. Now, I still haven't tried to put the roof bar on, but the fact that Anthony said they were the wrong way around. And in fairness, I looked at the drawings, it looked like I was doing it right, but I wasn't. So, you know, we all make mistakes. Let's get on with putting the roof bar on. I've no microphone plugged in, but oh my God, that was so much easier. Right, let's slide them into place. I think this one is gonna go right back here. OMG, look how easy this is. Oh, it is a two-man job, I honestly think, to slide them, but if one takes one's time, a little bit of brute force and ignorance. One can do it without the help of Charlie. So I gotta get the Allen key, tighten this one down, put the little cover back in that slides in there, and then this, that's this one fitted. How good does that look now? I'm happy with that, I'm hoping and I don't think it's going to be possible. But I will get onto the company in Northern Ireland where I bought these. I would like to buy one more rack. And I think the furthest I can fit it is going to be possibly here. And I think that's too far back to mount for spotlights. Plus, I think the tent comes up to here. So it looks like we're going to have to make something. Possibly bolt it in here. Because I really do want... A rack of spotlights across the front there. Four big round spotlights. I'm not into the light bars. I have one on the front of the Heimer. I, I mean, I like roof lights and they, they look great on some vehicles, but I really want a roof bar, a bar across that roof rack with four big round spotlights. And then I want to make a way down here. And just between there and there, if not too big, possibly four big spotlights but if not two big ones would do i would love a bull bar maybe we'll see how the budget goes by the way if you want to support the van build just log on to coffee that's ko-fi.com forward slash the van build you can go from anything from three euro to 103 euro every little helps as that shopping center guru once said and uh, again thanks to our show sponsors our video sponsors Gary's Glue sponsoring every video on this. The power tools we're using are power tools that were supplied for the last van build. But I really do think that's beginning to look like an overlander. We got the roof rack, 
tent will go on there. We got the wheels. Let me show you while we're here. Look at the tread on them. I also got, let me go over here, in this box here, our skid tracks for if you get stuck in snow or mud or whatever. And here are the lights that I'm fitting on the outside. Again, to be decided, but there you go. Something like that. I have six of them. Um, they're very, very bright. Uh, one on each side and possibly one on the back or maybe two on each side. I don't know yet. We got to get the roof mounted tent first from buckletwheel.ie. That will be one of the last things we do, but it's going to look well. Right, that is it for the roof bars and rack install on the van build project 2 the overlander from me aaron stay safe until we do it again very very soon take care bye bye